Okay. So I want to start off, if you're okay, with some quick fire questions. Okay. I'm not too good at it, but let's go for it. Okay, I don't so mind. The I'm people can quickly, very, very quickly see, you know, what happens in the life of Mufti Mank. Bismillah. Bismillah. Okay. Bismillah. The first one, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe or UK? Zimbabwe. Biryani or Mandi? Mandi. Mandi. That, that's what I would say as well. Car or motorbike? Motorbike. Allahu Akbar. Android or Apple? Android. Subhanallah. Shocking. What is your actual name? Ismail, Musa, Mink. Allahu Akbar. Favorite place? Nigeria. Coffee or tea? Tea. Favorite food? I don't have. Actually, that's facts. You don't, you don't have a favorite I don't food. have a favorite food. Okay. Mecca or Medina? Medina. al or KFC? al Yes. Pizza Hut or Domino's? Domino's. Thin crust. Yes. Okay. Shocking. Cricket. Pakistan or India? Uh, all the Muslims. Okay. Samosa or Bakola? Neither. Favorite ayah in the Quran right now? Wala sawfa yu'atika rabbuka fatarba. How far back can you name your ancestors? Eight generations. Allahu Akbar. Which scholar from the past inspires you the most? Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu. I guess that comes to the next one, which is favorite companion. Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu. And why? Uh, tons of reasons. I think he was the hero. He, he stood with the Prophet ﷺ from the very beginning. Not to say there were not other heroes. But uh, the sacrifice, uh, a lot of what he's done inspires me, actually. Hmm. And I think we're nowhere near that. But subhanAllah, I always try to... Uh, I even tell people who say we've named our, our kid after you... Uh, not to do that because I say actually the heroes are others, they're not me, you know. So there is a lot, it's a topic on its own. Uh, he really has done a lot. He's, I don't know, he, he, and he's not the only one, but like he's the top of the list. Subhanallah. Mm. That's my belief. He's wow. the best to tread the earth after the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that's it. His name was Abdullah ibn Uthman, yeah. It's interesting because. When a lot of people speak about scholars from the past, it's rare that they actually talk about the companions. Yeah, I think those were the scholars, actually. Yeah, 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 most definitely. Subhanallah. Favorite reciter? Uh, I can't tell you. Okay. Uh, there, there is one, but I won't say his name. Okay. Favorite book? The Quran, definitely. And uh, yeah, if, uh, other books. Marjan fi alayhi shaykhan. That's a book of hadith. It has in it a compilation of all the ahadith that are muttafaq alayh. That's it. Okay. Allahu Akbar. Most amazing new country that you went to? So mm. maybe like a new country you went to recently? Uh, every country has its own piece of uh, you know uniqueness. And I really love uh, all countries that I've been to. There's always something special about them. And that's Allah's way of, um, I think, opening our eyes to say mm. every country has positives and negatives. It's up to us what we make of all of that. Yeah. So, like I told you, Nigeria is my favorite place for many reasons, and and West Africa at large. Mm. But at the same time, uh, it it it's not from a an infrastructural perspective. It's from many other angles. But Alhamdulillah, the countries are good. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Um, the favorite, f- your favorite form of exercise. Swimming. Swimming. Yeah. That's what I would say mine is as well, even though I don't get to do it a lot, you know, over here. Yeah, we're in the same boat. The swimming gyms are very, very expensive, you know, may Allah make yeah. it easy for us. Mashallah. Uh, <laughs> uh, morning person or night person? Night person. Okay, interesting. I wasn't expecting that one. Uh, your favorite product to use, um, whether it be like an oil or like a cream or... Uh, Moroccan argan. Moroccan argan oil. I thought you were going to say that. I thought you were going to oh, say. Why? You can see the beard shining. Yeah, no, because once when yeah. we when we done light upon light, I asked you. I said, Mufti, what did you put in your beard? Because it was it, had, it looked like it had diamonds in it, and you you told me it was argan oil. Moroccan argan. Uh, there are two types. One is the one to eat, and the one to apply. Yeah. Yeah. You you just need a good original one that is scentless, meaning it's the original argan smell. Yeah. Allahu Akbar. Yeah. Jazakumullah khairan. Okay, so that's the quick fire done. That's if there was any pressure, it's gone. Uh, Mufti, I, thought, I thought we were just getting started. Yeah, no, no, Mashallah. that's it. Subhanallah. I was trying to think of questions, new ones. Yeah. The no, brothers. They were very, they were very good questions. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much. My favorite one um, is the biryani and mandi one. 
Oh, you're okay, yeah. Actually, <laughs> biryani, I don't eat, uh, I don't like spicy food. Actually, I cannot eat spicy food. Yeah. Uh, that's the reason why mandi, as much as it might be sl- tasteless compared to biryani, but if the biryani is my mother's, then, uh, uh, then I'll eat it. And if it's my wife's, I'll love it, mashallah. Allahu Akbar. I think there's a lot of hikmah in that, right? So there's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of mashallah. I'm learning from you, Mufti. I'm Allah learning from you. you. I mean, what, yeah, come. So, 